Hello people, how's it going? This is DJ357 here, uh, joining you for a brand new gameplay uh, series. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Titan Quest. It's an action RPG uh, released by THQ and developed by Iron Lore Entertainment. And it has uh, one of the uh, co-creators of Age of Empires on staff. So uh, there's, uh, there's a very Age of Empires-y kind of feel to it. Before the light of so the we're watching the intro video the now. World. There was only darkness ruled by titans. After an epic war, Zeus seized the heavens and exiled the titans, seeking to imprison them for all eternity. The lands were cleansed and mortals flourished, but arrogance precedes many a fall, and even a god's prison may be breached. Or do they all look exactly the same? Okay, all I'm seeing now is evil lizard boots. Is it always falling statues? Your gods will not save you. Okay, that dude is either extremely brave, brave, blah, blah, brave, or extremely stupid. I'm gonna go with stupid. Okay, so this is Titan Quest. So. Uh, this is just a plain old Titan Quest. It doesn't include the uh, expansion pack or anything like that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, play Titan Quest. Alright, so we've got to create a character here. Uh, we can join a multiplayer or host a multiplayer. So, that allows you to do online co op or uh, even local co op if you can get it working. I tried to get it working with a friend of mine over the last week or so and uh, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I tried everything. I tried kissing it all over. I tried smacking it in the face. It didn't work. So, if you can get it to work, fair play to you. So, it's a good character, and we will call him Thorax the Bold. Oh, Thorax the Bold. Thorax the Bold. There we go. Call him male, and we'll go with a blue tunic. Da 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 da, there's Thorax. Is it just me, or is his skirt really, really low? Okie doke. Anyway, so, single player. Uh, I'm assuming I can't choose any of the higher difficulty settings until I beat normal. So, let's get going. Alright, so start. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow yeah, well, that's like over five billion years away. Temples, which have stood forever, will be destroyed. Heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the is it soul. Just me, or is this a really depressing prophecy? It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. How non cliche. Okay, well, I suppose we can forgive them for that. It is an action RPG where, you know, you take the role of a hero who's going to save the world, so there's only so many ways to go about that. So, this is Titan Quest. Okay. It looks pretty lovely. And as you can see, it looks very Age of Empires y. Very Age of Empires y. But I do like the water physics. The, the, the graphics of the water it looks quite nice. So we can't go. Oh, we can't go anywhere over there. We just stare at the boat. So let's do something useful, aside from bothering chickens. So this guy has a little ar little diamond over his head, so over here, he looks like a sim. Uh, over here it tells us, talking to people, click on people with icons over their heads. Okay, so he's just got some general info for us. You there, 
Conference. You there, soldier! He's a boat hand. If you've come looking for rest and peace, you How am I a soldier? Here in Elos. Our village has I'm wearing recently nothing, been beset by and I'm carrying a sword, and other vile or a dagger of some sort. The that doesn't automatically make you a soldier. Would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields, and our supplies are running low. Please go down the road toward the village and help okay. where you can. Does this guy not find it strange that I just randomly appeared out of nowhere, wearing pretty much nothing, carrying a dagger? If that ever happened to me, I would run, fleeing, pissing myself. Going, ah, run away, run away, ah, don't stab me. You must have been sent by the gods. Okay, Please, so this guy has some sort of a quest here, for me. They're going to kill my horse. So who's going to kill his horse? What the? Okay, so boars and some sort of beast men. Satyr. Okay, satyrs. They were pretty easy to take down. Main quest updated. Trouble Village. Oh, cool. Okay. So here's our main quests. And I suppose these are the different areas we'll be visiting. And this is the side quests. Okay, no side quests. So, I saved Timaeus' horse. Strange beasts. Oh, they were strange beasts. Do they have anything for me? Oh, awesome. Okay. So if I press Alt on the keyboard, then... It shows me any items that are pick upable uh, around. And it looks like he's automatically equipped some of those. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So. Quest log with Q. Alright. So. Like any kind of top down action RPG, um, you use the mouse to basically point and click where you want to go and click on items to interact with them. So enemies or items on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure it'll give us a bit of more tutorial as we go along, so I'll save my breath you on that saved regard. My horse. Thank you. But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village, Helos. We've got monsters at the gates, in the fields, okay. they're everywhere. Monsters all over the place. Just go down the road, you will see. Okay, so. Investigate the problems in Helos. Okay. So let's keep going. Alright, so. I have my mini map up here. I have my rows of icons all the way down here. Uh, that looks to be my XP bar. Okay, awesome. And so they they have health potions and mana potions automatically equipped here. Energy potions, I should say. Um, I assume this is left mouse and right mouse. Yeah. Right click to assign a different skill, uh, or I don't have any at the moment. That I'm not sure what that is. Or the oh weapon swap. Oh, W. So, just like Diablo and Torchlight. Press W to swap to a different set of weapons. So, character window. Ah, there's Thorax the Bold. Oh, I have a spear. Awesome. Okay, let's equip that. Right, okay. So, there's all my stats. Health, energy... Strength, intelligence, dexterity. So those little pluses tell me when I level up, more than likely I'm able to assign some points to those stats and increase them. So that tells me about my resistances to all the various different types of damage. Uh, pierce resistance. That's cool. So there's my offensive stats, my defensive stats, my damage per second. That's handy. And then we go into the secondary. So secondary resistances. Bleeding resistance. That's cool. Vitality resistance. Ah, okay. So, life leech and stuff like that. Energy resistance. So, energy burn, energy leech. Stun resistance. That's cool. Disruption. Ah, so if I was trying to use a skill and somebody was trying to disrupt me, that is the amount of resistance towards that kind of thing I have. So, I have health regen of 1. So, does that mean I do regen health or I don't? I think I do. Energy regen... Okay, alright. Oh, that tells me the greatest monster I've killed so far is a scout. That's, that's fantastic. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's go do shit. Holy crap. Okay. Let's attack these guys. Oh, nice. So, anything to pick up? No, nothing to pick up. And these dudes are ignoring me, so that's fine. Oh, this dude, oh, this dude wants to speak to me. Hello, I am Aeso, guard captain for this small village. We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. 
It's that cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. Okay, I assume he's like the village elder or something like that. And there's some sort of shaman who's causing lots of hassle. Rebirth fountain. Okay. Activate first time you approach them. So when you load a save game or when you die. Ah. Alright. So if I die, I respawn here. And whenever I uh, load up a saved game, I respawn at the nearest one of these. That's cool. The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul mm, okay. drinks yeah, that's from fine. it. Should you Not telling me anything I don't already know. Battle, okay. So this dude has a little exclamation mark over him. So he has something important to say. Just going to wander around the village a little bit. Okay, so there's lots of vines and grapes and stuff going on there. Storyteller. Oh, you inspire me to speak of the mightiest hero okay, ever. He's talking about Hercules. Son of Zeus. Heracles. A god. Hercules, as we uh, English speak speakers know him. Okay, so it looks like this is a trader, a merchant. If you're going out there, don't so go I have 500 gold. It's not safe. Buy what you I need have, here. Uh, some chest armor. So I'm missing. But well, that's that's fine. That's a secondary weapon or a shield. So a second second weapon set. So I'm missing a helmet. I'm missing potentially a shield, some bracers, and some greaves and some rings. Okay. So let's see how much this kind of shit costs. Okay, more than I have. And some of them have stat increases built into them, so that gives plus 4 to intelligence, plus 23% energy regen. And requires a player of level 3. Okay, so that's stuff I can't afford at the moment. I can afford that, but I can't equip it. Oh, I can afford that. Alright, so... Go with that. And that. Awesome. 8% 8 8 chance to block 26 damage. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, let's close this. Goodbye. And go speak to Diomedes, Elder of Helos. Well, I call that one. Hello, stranger. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? If that's true, then please, I beg of you. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. We will pay you what we can. Okay, so he's offering to pay me. Well, okay, sold. We barely have men enough to keep the beasts from our gates. Oh, okay, you weren't lying. They're now within the gates. Alright, oh, okay, he's dropped something. Another harness, ash crude bow, ooh, a torch. Anything else? No, nothing else. So, I'm going to assume I opens up my inventory. Okay, I opens up my inventory. Uh, leather harness. Okay, exact same. Torch. Who does fire damage as well? That's interesting. Mm. That's slow speed though, so... I'm going to ignore that for the moment. Okay. So. Let's start wandering around and taking out these dudes. Ooh, lesser energy potion. Potions, okay, so as in pretty much every other game, uh, health potion to restore your health, mana potion or energy potion to restore uh, your energy, which allows you to perform skills or cast magic or stuff like that. Uh, I don't have any of those at the moment, because I'm still like level zero or whatever. So, alright, let's keep going. So, I'm going to be attacked by all of these dudes. I'm going to ignore that little pop-up for a second. That wasn't so bad. Let me drop some hand axes. Another torch. I presume I can sell all this crap that I don't need. So, maps. When exploring, use the compass map and the map window to locate key features such as quest objectives, merchants, and dungeon entrances. Okay, so M. Ah, okay. So here is the map. So this is Helos, where I was a minute ago. And you can see there there's Diomedes. 
There is some old farmer dude at the store, I believe. That's where I started. So, okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, does it show me where I need to go? No, it doesn't. Well, that's helpful. Okay, and it tells us down here what all this stuff is about. So, this is a merchant. It's not really very easy to see all this stuff. Okay, you can also zoom in using the mouse wheel. So that's handy. It's really hard to make out those small little icons. Like here, this size, I could totally make those out. But at that size, it's a little bit awkward. Anyway, okay. So, I've no idea where we're heading, so we'll just wander out through these farmlands. Start attacking random things. Ravenous boar! <coughs> okay, I'm getting fucking raped over here. Whoa! Okay, run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away. My health is extremely low right now. Run away, run away. Yeah, you guys. You guys come in and, and defend me. Defend my honor! And also my body. Whoa! Okay, these guys really are ravenous. I want to have their fucking daily meal. Suck it! Good man. Cheers, boys! I was dying out there. Literally. Okay, so let's head back this way. So they've thankfully taken out the rest of those goons. So, let's see. I don't have any freaking health potions. I need to buy some health potions. Let's have a further little wander in here. Because I think there's something. I've got to be missing something. Gotta be more stuff here. Ooh, what's this? Portals. Portals allow you to travel quickly between various locations in the world. Left click on a portal, open the portal map. Okay, so I haven't activated any other portals. Your portal stone is now available for use. To activate your portal stone, click on the portal stone button on the HUD. Or press L. So, oh, this little button down here. So, that's cool. So I just, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so anybody familiar with Diablo or Torchlight, um, the portal over here is kind of like a waypoint. And this is pretty much like a waypoint portal or, you know, teleport to town scroll kind of thing. Except you appear to have infinite uses of it. That's awesome. Okay. Awesome. Infinite use. I like that. Right, okay, so, yeah, we're almost like 20 minutes into this video and we haven't really done much yet, so uh, I'm going to try and rectify that as soon as possible. So we'll attack this boar. My health is still perilously low, so we'll have a look at our newly found portal stone and travel back to Helos. <laughs> That was the noise that the game makes when you travel through a portal. Not me at all. No, that, that was totally. My the blades will serve you in a pinch. Okay, so awesome. He sells health potions. Don't have enough gold. Wait, what? Oh man, I bought that stupid shield, which cost me like loads of money, and now I have no money for health potions. Damn it! Right, let's sell this back. So, right click to sell. Okay, I like that. So this, uh, 6 to 12 damage, average speed. Yeah, I think I'll go with that place of that cruddy little dagger. Copper knife. Sell the torch, don't need that. And don't need that. And I still don't have enough for another health potion. God damn it. Goodbye, my friend. So, awesome. I can head back to the portal. Alright, so, my health is ever so slowly regenerating, so that health regen uh, value of 1 appears to actually do something, if not very much at the moment. So those crows haven't dropped anything, there are some other enemies around here. The sooner I level up the better. Okay, so I need to use a health potion. Oh no, I'm good. 
I'm so used to playing Torchlight at the moment, I try to press 1 on my keyboard to use the health potion when in fact I need to be pressing 9. So, epic fail there. Alright, so more setters who are firing a house, and I just use the health potion. That gives me some nice health regen, I like that. That's awesome. Torch. Another torch. Another torch. So, and now I've entered the Helos Woods. Open this chest. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Health potions. Stop firing your stupid bow at me, you prick. So he's a satyr skirmisher, as opposed to the scouts I've been mauling the past little while. And they keep dropping their bows. It's pretty cool, pretty much whatever the enemies have on them, uh, have equipped to them, they seem to just drop. So that's good, that's a nice system, I like that. So, there's a pitiful little scout, gonna take him out. Him out as well, and then kill the ravenous boar. Wow, okay. health has gone way, way down again. But at least I have some health potions. Right, let's forge ever further onwards. Okay, where the? Why are they running away from me? Come on, guys! I'm not that strong. It's okay. You don't need to run. Health potion. Regeneration shrine. Ooh. Yes, please. That shrine granted me ever so shortly regeneration. Or improved regeneration. Seems to have gone now, though. Okay, so there's some dude over the right hand side of the screen who is all shiny and stuff. I'm gonna assume he's that evil shaman. Awesome! Level up! Alright, so since that shaman is over there, I'm just gonna run the hell over here. Okay, so I leveled up. So you got up a level, each time your character gains a level, they will receive skill and attribute points. Okay, that sounds familiar. Open the skill window to assign your skill points. Open the character window to add attribute points. Okay, so I certainly called that with the attribute points. So, back to the primary ones. Awesome, okay. So, strength increases base damage with melee weapons, intelligence, elemental damage, and any re energy regen. Dexterity gives, increases your offensive ability, defensive ability, and increases piercing damage. Okay, so the standard dexterity is for bows, strength is for melee weapons, kind of thing, and intelligence is for mana, or magic users. Okay, so, we'll go with a little bit of strength and a little bit of health. Gone up to 325. Awesome. Okay. And then the skill window. Aha. Now, I've played a little bit of Titan Quest already, so I know what this stuff is about. And uh, this is... I suppose it's, it's one way of setting up classes in the game. And the way they have it set up is you select a mastery uh, when you first level up. And what happens is you start investing points as you keep leveling up into a specific mastery. And I believe uh, later on, once you get to, I don't know, maybe level 20 or level 30 or something like that you can choose a second mastery so in certain ways like in other games you can choose one skill and then or sorry one class and then branch out into another class or choose a completely different class type uh, this game obviously allows you to do the exact same thing so storm is uh, magic users earth would be magic users spirit would be magic users as well uh, rogue is obviously your thief class hunting is your ranger class um, Nature uh, appears to be primarily healing and stuff like that. Uh, defensive is your pretty much your um, shield and sword guy. Uh, deflecting t attacks with shields and disabling them with shield bashes and stuff like that, I assume. And then warfare is your all-out uh, melee dude. Pretty much a berserker. So, I'm really not sure which one to go with. Ordinarily, I would choose this dude because no matter what I play, I love dual wielding. Mm, but, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think I might just go with the Defender. No, fuck it. Awesome. Okay, so, obviously you can undo the mastery selection, so that's pretty handy. That would allow you to kind of look through all the various different skills uh, that your chosen uh, mastery gives you. And if you don't like them, obviously, undo the mastery selection and choose something different. That dude. Thank you. 
but uh, as I said, I don't know. I'm gonna go with this. So, uh, weapon training, so that increases. Da -da -da, so that looks like a passive ability. Battle Rage, yeah, that looks like another passive ability. So this one looks like. Yeah, so this one has an energy cost, so this is going to be an active one that you actually have to activate. So when used as your default weapon attack, Onslaught charges up as you hit enemies, causing increased damage. So just increases your damage. Gives you charge levels as well, so that's interesting. I'm not sure where on the screen it shows anything about charge, so that would be interesting to see. But anyway, uh, I think we'll go through all of those various different skills as we level up. So what happens here is, as I mentioned, you need to add in points to the various uh, masteries that you have in order to use skills and in order to become more masterful, as it were. Uh, so I need to add some points into this. So just adding one point allows me access to these three. So I'm going to try and use that. And I'm also going to increase that. So this is a passive skill which activates, uh, has an 8% chance of activating, gives me 10 seconds of pretty much increased damage to enemies if I'm getting hit. Uh, this one is, as I mentioned before, we can just activate it and it gives us a little bit of increased damage while using up some energy. So, that is all of our skill points assigned. So we close this. So, assigning skills. Active skills can be assigned to your mouse buttons on the quick slot bar to assign a skill, right click on blah, and any slot in the quick bar. Okay, so if I wanted to assign onslaught to that, do that. Getting a lot of frame rate lag at the moment. I have no idea why. Everything had previously been running pretty smoothly. So, something weird has gone on there. Apologies for that. Okay, so if I put onslaught in my right mouse button. Well, I didn't attack anybody there, so obviously I didn't use it. Alright, so... Experiencing some severe lag here, so I apologise for that. So what we might do... We might save the game. Okay, so we had a wee little bit of a technical mishap there, but uh, we have that sorted at the moment. So, uh, we'll continue on with this quest. Kill this evil shaman. Fly into it. So he's firing magic spells at me, which are lowering my health significantly. So it's time to use the onslaught skill. So I'm use the onslaught skill. It's slowly bringing my energy down. So quickly bringing his down. So it seems to be working. Nice. Okay. And so that is one quest done. Getting some good stuff off this guy. Static stout staff. Tough bangle. Your inventory is full. Bangle of energy. Your inventory is full. The bane of many an action RPG player and a full inventory. So let's see. Okay. Wow, we really do not have much space in our inventory, do we? Okay. And I don't remember coming you across any no stash or anything room. like that, so it looks like we will be running back to the merchant quite often throughout the play of this. So I'll pick up some of the gold. Okay. Let's have a quick look at this stuff. Okay, the bangle. I can't equip that because I don't have the right player level. Um, simple sash, so... Gives me energy regen and... Slightly increased armor, so I'm going to equip that. But I have a feeling that those kinds of, um, say, cuirasses or those kinds of armor are actually geared towards magic users. So I'm not sure in the long run whether that kind of armor will suit me. So, okay, can't use that. Again, more than likely for magic user. Uh, yeah, I have the spear. So let's see, is that club any better than my rusty hand axe? No, it's not. Okay. So, head back to town. Heading back to Helos. You defeated the powerful shaman? 
Astounding! Your victory today is great, but I fear there will be more monsters tomorrow. At least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all. Take this gold. I know it's not much. Please, seek out the Spartan general, Leonidas. Petition him on my behalf. Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us, and quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Thank you again, stranger. We are in death, as he sounds slightly Scottish as opposed to Greek. Safe until the men of anyway, okay, so we got a thousand gold for that, and 150 experience. So, still nowhere near the next level. Okay, so the next quest that we have to embark upon is to... Oh, we're already on, say, part two. Okay, so we have to go find the Spartan General Leonidas and uh, beg him. Okay, that's ex exactly what it says. We have to beg him to send soldiers to protect Helos. Okay, so we will leave it there. We're at around about a half an hour. So that is the first uh, gameplay video of Titan Quest. And uh, hopefully we'll be back for more sometime soon. So uh, thanks and comment, like and subscribe. Take care.